Good morning, everyone. It's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and I am off for a day of fun. Ha! I am going to the Burton Antiques Fair. I'm probably going to stop at an antique mall. And I just got done at a barn sale. And while I picked up just a couple of things, I got a couple of little uh, bottle brush trees. The best part of it was I got to pet a horse. <laughs> But the horse left its mark on me. <laughs> he was very interested. I got to feed him a carrot, too. Very interested in what I had and nuzzled up against my shirt. And now I've got, I've got a horse all over my shirt. But it may turn out to be the best part of the day. Join me. Pretty the campus. <laughs> it needs to be washed, but it's cute. That was tons of fun. That was impromptu. I saw a big sign for barn sale. And um, so I went past the fairgrounds and traveled down to go to the barn sale. This was the second sale that I went to. Um, the first sale was the one with the horse, but they were both barn sales. But this one had a lot more for me to film for you. So I did catch a little bit of it. I ended up spending $30 here and got um, some amazing things. <laughs> Probably could have spent a lot more, but I'm getting ready to go to an antiques festival and I didn't want to spend all my money in one place.
Guys, look at this. Isn't this amazing? Paper lith litho skittles, nine pin with the ball. Have you ever seen anything like this before? This is fabulous. And I'm loving all the uh, Victorian shoes. Gosh, oh, look at the baby stuff. It's so much fun. And the little parasols. 1920s on this one, 195 for this. Look at this. This little blue one. It's 195, 175. Oh, so gorgeous. Look at the box. You know how I love boxes, right? Oh, so excited. This is a fun booth. A fun, fun booth. Dressed animals. $60 for the set of these. Those fabulous. You guys, look at these. $15 each for these candles. Oh, my word. So cool. I'm looking up here at the... Who's this? Is that Whitman? No. Watkins. Make the little paper mache guys up there. Oh, so fun. <gasps> Look. I like the Santa box. Little Santa box. 24. Is this anything fun? No. Just protecting the Santa box. Look at this dollhouse furniture. It's all metal and it's got the box. Oh, it's got the box. These are fabulous. I have, I've been selling them. Um, some of these that were incredibly worn, but still fun. Great as risers. Look at all of this stuff. Oh my goodness. Children's party book. I'm really amazed and impressed with all of the very unique things that they have in this booth. A lot of things I've not seen before. Like this. This is wonderful. These are $68 each. They're paper and they're in excellent, excellent condition. We got this little Santa, flock Santa. He's 10. Look at the little chicks. Eight little chicks for $30. Those are so cool. This little dolly's lost her little head. Reminds me of the Adams family. She'd fit right in. Oh, look at this, you guys. $495. It's musical. Isn't that amazing? And her, she's fabulous. She's 68. Look at that. I like that one too. And put cut sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six for $95. Those are pretty amazing. Oh, I love those. These are fun. Look at this, guys. Isn't this fun? I don't know. I hate messing with them. Okay, 85. Wow. Oh, so cool. Everything is so cool in here. Look. At the little pigs. Oh, they're... They feel like they're celluloid. I suppose I could take them out and, and I'm always afraid. They're very, very light, so I feel like they're probably not wood. And then we've got these. These are fun. I love to come across those. Look at this tin. Ah, uh, and look. Look at this display. Oh my gosh. Look at that, that's amazing. With all the little spaces and cubbies. 245 on that one. One of these little whirly guys for 15. That's spot on. Oh, we got a $38 Halloween thingy. That's good. $98 for this one. $38 for this one. That's good to know. I was somewhere the other day. I might have caught it on film where I saw an old clicker. 
and they wanted 20 I think for it and I had run out of money <laughs> I couldn't get it I probably would have too and now that I know that I should have I mean I should have I should have moved heaven and earth to get that <gasps> look at all the little stife guys oh look at this lamb oh my gosh I don't know if that's stife or not but it's adorable We've got the pretty doll. Oh, look at this one. So cool. Look at this dog. Guys, this booth is everything. $38 on that. Most of this is a little too spendy for me, but I am enjoying looking at it. $95 for this little baby fan that would cut off the little kid's fingers. <laughs> Oh, for this box. Oh, I love it. Actually, it's a box lid. $14. What is this? I don't know what that is. I can't read it. It's because I'm blind. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, look at her. 85, she's a little powder puff. Look at this hat. Wow, oh my gosh, look at this. This is amazing. 1836 to 1840 purse, $68. That's stunning. This, this is very cool. Victorian basket. It's metal, metal handle. Oh, so cool. This is so fun to see. There's some little cases up front. Oh, look at this. Little cases up front. And look, I'm excited to go look at it. We'll take you over there. We're going to go around the front. Oh, this one is the front. <laughs> oh, look at how great. I love him. That Santa right there. And the mushroom. Look at his little eyes with the eyelashes. Oh, so cool. Look at him. Uncle Sam, he's $38, $385. Uncle Sam, celluloid. Wow. Oh, so cool. Oh. I see some things in here that I just love. First of all, I love this. What is this? 13, 15? I don't know. 18. Oh, so cool. Um, not those. Look at him. So cute. Foxy Grandpa. Oh, the little clicker is cute. Look at that. 25 on the clicker. Adorable. Those are fun. Oh, so cool. Oh, look at these. Little charms. Fun. Love it. No, she's 10 or 11. There's more smalls. You know I get really excited when I come into booths that have smalls. Now these are 45. Look at this one. I don't know what they want on this. I like the lady on it. 75. This chick is adorable. 
Look at him. Oh, he's cool. He's Jay Chen. 90. I'm not going to try him, but so cool. This guy, look at him. Little doggy. Very, very, very fun things. Oops, I'm so sorry. Katie's. Fun display. Look at that dog. Oh, that's cool. I kind of thought, but I don't care. Yeah, that's the way with me, too. Like, I wouldn't care. Like, I think you could, I don't know. It's crap. I just like this. on that side. Yeah, I do, too. I like the, I like the metal bond. They were looking at this display. Isn't this gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if she's selling the display or not. Maybe 150. Wow, that's so fabulous. So cool. All right, let's tell, tell me about the hat. Well, Tatiana is the lady's name, uh -huh. and she designed hats from the 40s through the 60s, and her mute and her hats are in the museum of. Um, Modern art in uh -huh. the in the uh, material wears it. Okay, very cool. And she has all kinds of awards. And the feather one, what were you telling this me about? That's a Kristen Dior. Uh huh. And it's it's wow. really a cap. It's not a wig. And it's all made out of uh, pheasant feathers. That is so cool. Yeah, you have some amazing things in your booth. Very, very cool things. Fun stuff. This is cool. Now, was the price tag on this 150, or are you the selling case it? Is not for sale. Not for sale. I, I wouldn't sell it either. No. I use it. Very for everything. cool. It's beautiful. And like the two little powder tins mm -hmm. are some of the rarest because they still have their sample of powder in them, and they're mm -hmm. complete and they're considered perfect in that. Wow. <laughs> All right, I know how many of you love the micro mosaics. Look at how beautiful this is. This one's 45. Look how tiny. Look at the bracelet. That bracelet is stunning. It's 47. This one's gorgeous. Look at this one. I've never seen this shape before. Supposedly, this is making a comeback. Are you doing really well? 48. I'm not sure you could see that. There we go. Oh, so pretty. Oh, look how tiny that one is. That's unbelievable. I don't see a price on that. There it is. 80. It's gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? So this vendor um, tells me that she will be back in September. So if you're interested in anything that she has in her booth, not that that particular thing will be here, but she has wonderful things, so you can find her again in September. She's in the building. Um, right as you enter, you go to the left. Look at these, you guys. Aren't these stunning? Just gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That's oh. 17. I 
love that. This little pail is 32. And look at this. This one's 25. Isn't he adorable? So cute. So cute. You know I love the little benches, right? I am more partial to the ones that don't have the solid sides on them, but I do love those. And I have a bowl like this in the studio, although mine is signed. <laughs> They are on Instagram. Right. Understand. Because hotels are nuts. Yeah, they are. And, and, you know, the one that, that I go and I stay, I mean, it's 150 then, but the booth rent is less. Mm. But the, this is one. Right. But that's outside. Aww. How much for the picture? Oh, probably most of See the little fifties picture? Oh I would do five on that. Okay, thank you. That yeah, that's cute. Oh, this is adorable. Schmoo. Big schmoo. It was a big schmoo was a crazy I don't know if that was a Popeye thing. Mm -hmm. And it all looked like a great big round on the bottom, goofy head thing. And those things just to punch them. <laughs> That's fun. What are you asking for the little vinyl? 20. That's really cute. I like that. I'm a big Christmas oh, yeah. collector. Did you, did you go to the uh, holiday uh, Midwest holiday show? Um, in, uh, Memorial Day weekend? No. Okay. Where is that? It's in Canfield. I know where Canfield is. Yeah. I've never heard of this before. Well, I have to, to go. Have, <laughs> the, yes, you do. You really did. Well, they used to have it, and that's one of the things that they used to have it in Columbus. Look. Uh huh. But then during the pandemic, they wouldn't allow, I mean, even the ones that where everything was canceled. Uh huh. But. Can I put this? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to look at this. Okay. I am a cupcake pick collector, so I see the cupcake picks in here. Oh, oh okay. Um, so it's called, what is it? It's called. It's called a Midwest holiday show okay so that used to be in columbus well then he found a new venue because the fairgrounds wouldn't commit so he was in um so he was in uh canfield well everybody did pretty well uh -huh. and so the last two years when it has a memorial day weekend which i'm not a big fan but um so we had this holiday show and so now it's decided to do it twice a year Okay. So it's a memorial and, and at the first like weekend in November. I actually think somewhere in October would be even better because you'd, right. you'd hit all the holiday, you'd hit Halloween, right. you'd hit Thanksgiving, you'd hit Christmas. Well, I don't know about anybody else. I buy vintage Christmas all year long. Oh, I yeah. buy Halloween all year long. Right. I buy oh, them all. Yeah. If you, yeah, Halloween's a hard to find. Um, but anyhow, so he's going to have it again. We, we already had the one Memorial Day weekend, and it was it was good. It was really good. So now he's going to have it again the beginning of November. And it's just a Canfield Fairground, so okay. you don't have to go, like, into Youngstown or right. anything. You just okay. go, it's right off 11. I'll have to look. What are you asking building. for these little guys? Um, yeah, well, some of these little things would be, like, five each. Yeah, some of the stuff I just kind of put the put these things together. Um, it's a little old, maybe. 
These I was going to use. And that's kind of what... <laughs> oh, were you hiding these? <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of under the... Yeah, not, in fact, a lot of this thing. So I, I reserved the right, but, you know... Uh, see, I thought... I thought on a... If you do it with houses and styrofoam mm -hmm. and everything, that these are really a cute thing mm -hmm. to use with your... With yeah, your I'm also an artist, so that's another oh, reason why okay. I look at these things. <laughs> right. Well, okay. <clears throat> Um, I do like I do fifteen for the bag. It makes them three bucks a piece. It's just not worth it for me to sell stuff for a dollar. I hate to say that. Oh, okay. Um, oh, if you're going by the, if you don't know, by the. <laughs> what do you want? All right, we've got all kinds of really cute things over here. Look at this poodle. He's got a beard. She's asking 10 on this one. I like him a lot. Um, he does have some damage on him, though. I'm not sure. Love him, though. He's gorgeous. Look at the bunny. And this guy, I think I've had this one before, but I don't remember fur. Look at her with her poodle. So cute. Lots, there's lots of cute poodles here. Look, I've seen this before. Have you ever seen the box? I've never seen the box. That's fun. And then this one, I collect ones like this. I don't know how much she wants for that. I hate buying for myself. <laughs> but, on the other hand, I've spent so much money lately. I don't need anything else. I've had this before. That's cute, isn't it? So cute. And here's another one. I have I have one in my collection that has little glasses on. I'm not sure it's exactly like this, but that's so cute. So cute. And all our little spaghetti poodles. I had one like this forever. Oh, look at these little guys. They're cute. Oh, so fun. So fun. So cute. Made it out of the buildings. <laughs> look at how much fun this is. I do believe that this is a little bit bigger than it was the last time that I came. And boy, I just sold that one recently, and whoever bought it from me got a really good deal. That's neat. 25. Huh? Look at a kitty. Oh, he's got a big chip out of his ear, but he's adorable. These are so cool. I can't open it one handed if you wonder. <laughs> Ooh, I like the flag on it. Do they know who? Wilson Engraving. Awesome. See, I don't know. Is that Woodrow Wilson? Cool. This one is different. Whose hopes are high, whose faith is true, who cares the most? Mother, it's you. That's a nice one. Of course, I can't put it back. Oh, look at this. That's fabulous. 
for that. Look at the fish. Or, yeah, the fish is cool, but this is 35. That's wonderful. So fun. Look at these guys. That's adorable. Adorable. Look. So cute. So the Burton Antiques Fair is actually situated kind of in a oval shape, like on a track. And the last time I was here, and I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, only half of this track was filled. So it looks like there are more vendors here this time around, um, but it only goes up around there and then around there and then back around that side and then around here. And then, of course, there were um, the vendors in the buildings where I just was. So, it's fun. It's definitely fun. Let's go see what else I can find. <laughs> hey, guys. If you enjoy this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Good. I didn't... Um... Yes, we had a Barbie like that. Oh, it has a wig. If you take care of the wig, on it. yeah, that's not very nice. You are good at this. Yeah, I'm good. I was like 32. Okay. Oh, this is cute. That's cute. Come here, little friend. Come here, little friend. Thirty dollars. That's adorable. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. That's amazing. Oh, she's forty five. Oh, look at this bottle. Gorgeous. It's forty five. Well, you know it's a good day when you have to go to the ATM and get more money. <laughs> As I was leaving, I found something I just had to have. I'll show you in a second. And so I had to get some more money. That doesn't happen to me often. It was a great day. I'm going to give you a little car haul. Hold on. All right. First of all, I picked up this little bench. This was at that one barn sale. I don't think I showed you these already. This is a Whitman book. I don't know the date on it, but it's falling apart. But the illustrations inside, look at that. Fabulous. I'm so happy to get that. These are some ceramic um, pedestal dishes. I thought they'd be great for display. That's, that's the other pedestal dish. And then I got a uh, box because I'm weird that way. I like these boxes. Um, great for shelving and stuff. I paid $4 for that. Oh, and let me show you what I got in the back of the car. All right, I got this baby bed spring. I'm really excited about this. Um, I got a deal on everything I got at the barn, so I'm not sure how much I actually paid for this. It was marked 10 originally. This is great to hang pictures and things off of. I'm very excited about that. This is the first thing that I got. I'm kind of bummed, actually, because that light bulb fell out while I was walking the show. I'm pretty sure this is a Miro Star, and it's gorgeous. He plugged it in, it doesn't work, but it could be because um, the light bulbs are bad, could be, or it could need to be rewired. I don't know, I don't care. I think it's gorgeous. It may stay with me. He had $48 marked on it, and I got it for uh, 20. This is so cool. Um, this is from one of those really old antique slide projectors, like one of the really old original ones. If they were called magic, were they magic eye? Magic something or another, I think. Um, anyway, I, th this is a rather large one. 
um, and I'm really excited to find it. It's got a beautiful scene on it, gorgeous. I paid $15 for that, but I actually think it's worth about $40. I am such a sucker for drawers and stuff, and this one, look at it with all of its cubbies. You could set it out for display and put things, you know, little smalls in each one of the sections, or, and this is probably what I'm going to do, on a narrow wall, you can hang it and you can display items, so I was really happy to grab that. He was asking 8 I got it for 6 these are the items that I had to get right at the end. I, I don't know that I've ever seen these little ones as, as um, bunny rabbits. Uh, I've seen them as Christmas characters before, but not as bunny rabbits. And then I got this um, Halloween rattle. It's bent down a little bit in the middle, but I have a feeling that I can bend that out and it should be good as new. So I got a pretty good deal on that. <laughs> I need to get more money so that I can get those things. Uh, the bunnies are gonna stay with me. I paid $20 for this bag of smalls. I just loved the numbers on this. This is an old soap dish that has old soaps in it. Here's a tin. This is an old baby rattle. Isn't that awesome? Uh, this is a really fabulous brooch. Um, it's riveted. It's nice construction. I got this um, dental mirror because I thought it would come in handy. <laughs> My God, that's going to stay with me. I got a couple of these uh, little medals um, for, there for um, marksmanship. I just thought they were really fun. This one's fun with the goat. These are the best measuring spoons. I actually inherited a pair, and I have them put away for safekeeping, but I'll use these because these are sturdy and wonderful. And then I got this. This feels newer, um, but for the price, I couldn't leave it there because I love to use this sort of thing in art because you put little um, collages in the center there. I think that's really cool. Uh, of course, I always check to make sure they don't have any value that I'm not aware of first. So this was probably my favorite booth. Um, if you don't know already, I collect boxes and this is a fabulous box. I think the kitschier the better got that and then I got this there's some cards in there too by the way I got this package of these cute little um, game tokens I did get a deal so I did not pay that for them um, and then I got this hat stand uh, that's another collection that I have but they're usually out of my range and then what's in here I've never come across one of these myself that I could actually purchase so let me show it to you I'm really excited about it all right guys this is Miss Pris's friend and I'm not sure what was going on inside there I don't know how she came I'll have to find out I don't know why she has a hole in her mouth but I've never come across one that I could purchase. They only had 10 on her to start, which I knew immediately was a great price. She's in great condition. Uh, but again, I did get a deal for all of those things together. So, yay! I got these adorable little chicks on a nest. Um, salt and pepper shakers. The nest actually says made in occupied Japan and the ducks say made in Japan. So, um, I'm not sure. I don't think they're marriage, but anyway, I got them for a really good deal, so I was happy about that. I'm always looking for Kitsch. I tell you all the time, I'm on Kitsch Patrol, so this satisfied that. It has a little separation there, but it is absolutely kitschy, adorable from the 1970s. This can be easily glued back down, so I will fix that up before I offer her for sale, but she will be upcoming in a live sale. All right, I got these for me. And I actually got these clowns for me too, but I didn't, I you know it's really funny. I didn't realize that I got two packages of, of the exact same things. <laughs> so one will be for me and then I'll sell one. It's probably better that it worked out that way. Right, I love these angels. These were in good condition. She has a little bit of a yellow face I didn't notice. I have to take a peek at her, but um, she doesn't have anything broken on her. She's an April angel. I believe she's Napco, could be wrong. Um, I have one like her. In my own collection, and then I picked her up. She's an August Angel. She's really adorable, and she's in great condition, too, so I was happy to grab those. Well, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.